Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. We are going to make a 5 level water level indicator with low and high level alarms. When the water level comes down to a particular level, then the buzzer sounds and also if the water level fills up a certain level, then also the buzzer sounds. Even though I am telling this as a 5 level indicator, but it can also be extended to n level by adding few components. I will explain you everything in this video, its working principle, how to extend its indicator level and more important the water terminals. Please watch the video completely for understanding everything. I have used BC546 transistor while assembling this circuit. That is because I do not have enough BC547 transistors with me while I started assembling. BC546 and BC547 transistors are NPN transistors. From this chart, you can see the difference between BC546 and 547. They are same except the collector emitter voltage. So you can use both in this circuit. All water level indicators will be working fine when you connect it. But after one week, some will fail and some others will fail within two weeks and some within a month and so on. I will explain you everything after testing this circuit. Then only you will understand the reason why the water level indicators are failing after a few time period. The problem is not with the circuit, it is only with the terminals. Earlier I was assembling everything in a multi-purpose board or common board. Then so many people complained to me that they are unable to understand how to assemble it. That is why I am assembling like this and this will also help newbie electronic people to assemble the circuit and use it. Experienced people can make it by looking into the circuit. I have also given the complete schematic at the end of the video. Subscribe to my channel for getting new videos like this. Also press bell icon so you will never miss any videos from my channel.
If you have any suggestions, please comment on this video. Do not forget to click like button. This is the complete schematic of the water level indicator. When you look into the circuit, it seems complicated. But when you understand it, then you will identify that this is simple. Look at this highlighted circuit. Same implementation is used for all levels. Please watch carefully. You can increase the levels of this indicator by adding the same piece of circuit and this circuit has no interconnection except for top level green and second level yellow LED. They are used for sounding the buzzer and switching off the buzzer when the water level reaches the second level. This is that piece of circuit and you can see how simple it is and you can assemble this separately and add any number of this with the different color LEDs for identifying the levels in the water. 10K resistor is used for reverse biasing the transistor for avoiding false triggering when there is no water signal from the terminal. We need to use two terminals for triggering buzzer and red LED which is for low water indicator. When the water is in the lower end, then the green arrow marked transistor is in the on condition and the buzzer sounds. The current flow you can see as orange arrow mark. The lower end transistor that is marked as red X will be in off condition. When the water level reaches the second level, then the lower end transistor will be switched on and red X marked transistor will become off because its base is reverse biased through lower end transistor to ground. Please see the orange arrow mark. That will actually switch off the buzzer. When the water reaches the top green LED, then the buzzer will get negative terminal through diode and green arrow marked transistor and thus buzzer sounds. The current flow is shown in orange arrow mark. The diode's purpose is to block lighting the top green LED when the buzzer sounds for the lower water level. This is the way we are connecting the wires in the water tank. Connect these to the same color terminals in the circuit diagram. And now testing time. I have taken a glass beaker for simulating the water tank. I told earlier that every water level indicator will work perfectly fine but the issue will rise in water terminals. Water electricity conductor. These combinations will make the terminals corrosive within a week and an insulator oxide layer will be formed in the terminals and thus become non-conductive state. I have tried with so many metals and this is copper wire. I have tried this also and failed. At my home, I am using 10 level water level indicator and I tested each terminals with each metal pieces. This is component terminal and I used a 10 ampere diodes terminal and failed within 2 weeks. The circuit is actually 14 years old and is still functioning well and I will tell you what are the things I have tried. This is lead and that also failed within 3 days. This is gold and that also I have tried for 1 day since the color starts changing I stopped it because this is a costly metal. This is aluminium sheet but this lasts for 4 months. Oxide is the main villain here. This is silver. I used this for 3 days and the color starts changing so removed. This is the only metal which is lasting for the past 12 years and this is stainless steel. In between these 12 years I cleaned it for only 3 times but lasting perfectly fine. When I searched the internet better than the stainless steel is platinum metal. 
which is costlier than gold so better is using stainless steel please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this that will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you this is tech insert signing off see you in another video till then goodbye and please take care